As you are all aware, Berserk is my favorite manga of all time. Those like me who revered this series also had many questions concerning Mirio's writing and art. You all see the title, so you know what we're going to discuss. One long-term question that continues to plague and circle the Berserk fanbase is about the races of our favorite characters. The most popular version of this question tends to stem from those who question the race and ethnicity of Casca. I myself have taken part in these discussions, and after a long time considering different viewpoints, examining character designs and comparing to events that happen in world history, I'd like to get down to the bottom of this topic so we can all have a discussion below and finally get to the bottom of this tiresome debate. Let's get into it. So before I get into my perspective on this topic of berserk racial and ethnic makeup, I must point out that as a black man who is a longtime reader of manga and watcher of anime, I have come to the realization and come to expect very little to no representation or of characters who are based in my racial background. Majority of the time, they will primarily be based on a Eurasian perspective. Also, I think people need to understand the details of what race, nationality, and ethnicity are and how they work. All three of these subjects are not the same, but they do work in tandem. And it's good to keep in mind that race is a social construct, which means the definitions are not absolute, unlike the gender you were born as. Let's look at the explanation of the difference between race and ethnicity. Race refers to a person's physical characteristics, such as bone structure and skin, hair, or eye color. Ethnicity, however, refers to cultural factors, including nationality, regional culture, ancestry, and language. You can have more than one ethnicities, but you are said to have one race, even if it's mixed race. Pertaining to bone structure, it has to do with skull shape, which results in names like Negroid for those originating from the African continent, Caucasoid, referring to those who originate from the European continent, and Mongoloid for those in the Asian continent. The problem with this is multiple skull shapes can be found in one region. For instance, Negroid, Caucasoid, and Mongoloid skull shapes and phenotypes that exist on different regions of the African and Asian continents. Negroid and Mongoloid skulls are present in the origins of the Americas, and Negroid and Caucasoid phenotypes are present in Europe. I just wanted to point these out before I make my analysis and express my viewpoints of the characters in the Berserk world. First, let's start off with the easiest of the bunch. Like most manga, I think it's very obvious that the main racial category in the Berserk world are European, aka Hoizite. Stupid fucking white man. Given the fact that these settings, events, and characters are mirrors of medieval European history and majority of the characters reflecting this, such as Griffith, Judo, Rickard, Corcus, Gaston, Gambino, Charlotte, Julius, the King and the Queen of Midland, Laban, Owen, Mosgus, Farnese, Serpico, Flora, Shirke, the whole Kingdom of Midland, etc, etc, etc. These are all white people, let's keep it 100. Now let's get into the non-white characters, which gets interesting because more so now differences in ethnic background will start to make a play here. Beginning with Pippin, a lot of fans and readers like to believe that he is black and based in African origin. I think this is wrong. From examining his visage, Pippin reflects more of a Polynesian person. His phenotype suggests his skull shape to be of Mongoloid origin, and his character design of being bulky and heavyset is like a modern Pacific Islander. While we're on the top of a Mongoloid, I know I might get some flack for this, but to me, again, to me, Guts and Ishijo look more Asian specifically Japanese than like the standard white folk. Specifically Guts. He does not look like a European guy. He looks like the standard Japanese 80s manga action hero, with the spiky hair, eyebrows, and head shape. I mean, if you look at him closely, he looks like Miria. Guts is the tall, chiseled version of Miria. Then there's Ishijiro. In my eye, he looks like Guts' baby brother. Same spiky hair, eyebrows, only difference is their ages, body type, personalities, and the color of their hair. The only other Asian presence in the series is obviously those of the Kushan lineage, modeled after the historical Kushan Empire of South Asia. Of course, these dark-skinned folk would include characters such as Salat, Daiba, Ganishka, Jarrus, and the Bakadaka assassins. 
the present served as the opposition to the Midland nations, to mirror the Saracens, who were the exact opposition to the European knights during the Hundred Year Crusades. Which will lead us to someone who is supposedly and theoretically associated with the Kushan. The elephant in the room, of course, likely why you click on this video, Casca. When it comes to the topic of race and berserk among the fandom, no subtopic is as popular than figuring out Casca's race. It goes three ways. Most of Berserk fans believe she's black. Another portion of fans believe she is either Kushan or half Kushan, so basically South Asian. Then lastly, the most delusional of the bunch, those who think she is a dark-skinned European. Stupid fucking white man. They just want her to be white at any cost. Well, in this case, somebody has to be right and it definitely isn't white, so stop dreaming. Now this only leaves us two options, African or Asian descent. So I'll be honest here, as stated earlier, I've come to learn that most manga and anime don't particularly have interest in black civilizations. Therefore, black characters portrayed in these media tend to be in the same vein as how they are portrayed here in the states, as side characters, tokens, and villains. In Berserk's case, the only two obvious and prominent black characters were Boscone, who served the pedophilic opposition to Griffith's goal of war glory, and Donovan, who was a direct source of Guts' psychological trauma, also linked to pedophilia and rape. So both of these black characters were villains, and then if you looked for it, like really looked for it, you'd find two random members of the Hogs who were black. One of them used to be my profile picture. So what am I saying, huh? To get to the point, I don't think Casca is a black woman. Hell, I don't think Miria ever wanted to make prominent black characters at all. I think he just sprinkled them here and there like most popular media do. So does this mean I think Casca is Asian? Mmm, as much as I believed and wanted her to be black, yeah. I think it's very possible that Casca is of Kushan descent. Therefore, she would probably be South Asian. And it would kind of make sense due to lived experience. A lot of Asian women, whether East or South, tend to be a bit into white dudes like that. So Casca being infatuated with a white guy like Griffith makes total sense. And there you have it. These are my views on the races and ethnicities of Berserk's world. Did I get these right? Persuade you to see what I see? Or do you think I completely got it wrong and you think I'm talking nonsense? Whatever your thoughts, drop them down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your takes on Berserk's racial makeup so we can get to this age-old debate to rest. Of course, if you like this video and are new to the channel, drop a like for your boy and consider subscribing for more Berserk, comic, and gaming topic videos down the line. Also, check out my previous videos like my retrospective on Judo, connection theory on Skull Knight and Void, and stay tuned as I hear chapter 364 maybe on the horizon. You know the vibes, it's Kaiser Kuslevin. Appreciate you.